I will talk about our study of work involving contour fatigue on wheel steel in alternated dry wet contact aided by innovative measurement systems. Innovative measurement systems. Uh, the issue is that, that uh, uh, rails and train wheels uh, are subjected to uh, rolling contact fatigue. Uh, usually, we have two different steels subjected to rolling contact fatigue with the high surface and soft surface uh, stresses and then uh, cracking and other different <coughs> damage phenomena such as spalling, uh, ratcheting, wear and so on. Either, uh, which uh, add up in either positive or negative way. Uh, to predict uh, fatigue light test uh, uh, at a design time, we need the numerical methods. And to have this numerical <coughs> method, we need to reproduce the phenomena in a controlled way. To do so, in our lab, we have uh, some test facilities. In particular, we have our in contact fatigue with this test bench, uh, which can control uh, parameters such as the load, the rotary speed, our test goes to, uh, at uh, uh, 500 rounds per minute, uh, the slide rolling ratio, uh, the lubrication, and the duration of the test. Um, on this uh, uh, test bench, we mounted a vision based measurement system. Um, we mount the specimen and uh, uh, an angle with a linear profile, uh, which is needed to uh, know the angular position of uh, the specimen which is rolling. And then uh, we acquire an image of uh, a portion of surface of the specimen with a high speed camera, so the measurements are online and then illuminate uh, the specimen with uh, the focus and laser pointers in order to obtain um, a homogeneous uh, uh, surface, homogeneously illuminated surface. Uh, then we have uh, um, a 3D laser stripe because uh, we can uh, uh, measure um, uh, the damage of the specimen using uh, this uh, 3D laser blade uh, and then there is uh, a, three, a laser blade uh, which is needed to measure the length uh, of the linear profile of the encoder to uh, know the angular position of the rolling uh, specimen. Uh, this is uh, the vision uh, system mounted on the rolling contour fatigue test bench. What we obtain is uh, uh, typically an image like the one you can see in this slide, uh, which is uh, an image of a wheel acquired during an alternated dry wet uh, test at uh, 950 uh, kilocycles uh, at a rolling frequency of 500 rom per minute, illuminated by the diffuse uh, laser pointers. Uh, this uh, image undergoes some image processing, uh, defining a region of interest. Um, for what concerns our discussion today, uh, we consider the elaboration of the region of interest uh, one, uh, which uh, undergoes a thresholding, uh, which um, uh, is useful to separate dry uh, particles uh, from uh, um, black particles. Uh, after thresholding, we make a dog analysis, um, which is uh, considered only the bright particles. Uh, then uh, we calculate some uh, synthetic indexes. In particular, we calculate the damage ratio, which is the index called RB. Uh, which is the total blob, uh, the, the ratio between the total blob area, so the total area of the bright particles, uh, and uh, uh, the, whole, uh, the whole region of interest area. And this is uh, what we do uh, for uh, the um, image processing. Then, uh, the test uh, on the test bench uh, is also mounted uh, a vibration and torsion measurement system. We acquire the uh, one accelerometer on uh, on the rail, uh, which is the X vibration, the X vibration. Uh, the one accelerometer near uh, the 
four wheeler, which is uh, the Y uh, acceleration, and uh, uh, I mean, we have a torque meter. Then, uh, um, starting from these uh, acquired um, quantities, uh, we make uh, we do machine learning. Uh, we calculate uh, the feature, we reduce them, and then uh, we calculate the distance between each feature from uh, our reference, which is uh, calculated and uh, which is calculated uh, through uh, a training uh, a training set of tests. Uh, then uh, the result of this machine learning is. Uh, a function of probability um, that uh, a single feature uh, is uh, which is, which is weighted on the um, uh, on the distance between a single feature and uh, um, the, uh, the, the and uh, uh, the feature calculated through the training sample. Um, we made uh, uh, a lot of tests uh, which are based on alternated dry and wet uh, phases and the duration of the dry and wet phases uh, um, is different from a test uh, to test and then we obtain uh, some results. Um, you can see um, the results for uh, the test K2 uh, in which the alternated dry and wet phases uh, have a um, time length of uh, 50 kilocycles and then uh, the results for K13 uh, in which the alternated phase, wet and dry phase has, have a duration in time of uh, 100 kilocycles. Uh, the the wet phase is the round, is the circle. The um, dry phase is the triangle. Uh, we can see that at a certain point of the test, um, the the wet um, um, uh, the synthetic sin index uh, of the damage ratio uh, for wet uh, phase uh, is uh, bigger than. Uh, the one of the dry test. Um, and uh, for what concerns K2, we can see that uh, first inversion at uh, 700 kilocycles. For what concerns K13, we uh, can see that this inversion is uh, at uh, five, uh, uh, 450 kilocycles. Uh, the same results, uh, um, uh, we obtain the same results uh, from uh, machine learning. So, starting from images and starting from uh, vibration, we obtain the same results, uh, which is an inversion uh, between uh, what we can see uh, before a certain number of cycles uh, during an alternated uh, dry wet uh, test. In particular, uh, we can uh, we can see that uh, in uh, um, when the duration in time uh, of the alternated phase uh, phases uh, um, is uh, shorter, uh, we have uh, a um, wear and fatigue phenomena. Add, uh, add up uh, in a positive way. Um, instead, uh, when the duration of uh, uh, the dry and wet phase is longer, um, wear and fatigue uh, add up in a, um, um, a negative way. Um, uh, this is uh, because uh, um, when, uh, when the duration is time is longer, uh, the ratcheting uh, can propagate during 
the, the dry phases and then when the lubricated phases begins the lubricant can penetrate into the cracks and the combination between wear and fatigue phenomena is destructive more than what happens when the duration length of the dry and wet phases is shorter. Thank you.